Well, tonight we'll hit it. We'll hit it, you know, with a double-edged sword. We'll make sure that we double up your dosage and make sure that we get a really good, strong impact, okay? So that's what we're going to have to do. And we're just going to have to, you know, hit it with both fists and, and, uh, and hike it up. Because the dosing is extremely individualized, you know. You never know exactly what a person needs. I've had people that look the same as you that can only take a quarter cup. And that's why we inevitably progress pro very conservatively at the beginning, because we don't want to traumatize you. If you get traumatized, hey, how you doing, brother? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Did you just arrive? I did just arrive today. What's your name? My name is uh, Jordy. Thank you. Jordy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good to meet you, brother. Yeah, yeah. I, I know we've been in touch for a while. It's great to meet you. Yeah, it's or, good to meet you. Really. Yeah, it's really good to meet you. I'm glad you could make it. Thank you for having yeah, me. Welcome. Yeah, Thank my you. pleasure. Are you comfortable in your house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Perfect. Okay. Well, uh, basically what we're doing today is I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea of <clears throat> what the ayahuasca is good for in the long run, what you're going to be able to use it for when you get back home. How are you going to apply it to your everyday lives and to the communities and to the lifestyles, the families, and the peer groups that you take part in every day. It's extremely important to be able to transfer it from the jungle, which is a very primitive ancient place, to Cincinnati, Amsterdam, and San Francisco. I mean, everybody does the same thing, and everybody grapples with the same dilemma. Now, the main thing is that here we live a very private life. We live a life basically surrounded by wild plants, wild animals, wild birds, and by a lot of nature spirits, a lot of power. A lot of power both in the plant world, the animal world, and in the human realm. So we have a lot of spirit energy here. That's why we live 30 kilometers away from the nearest town. We want to be away from the highways. We want to have very clean air. We want to have extremely pristine environment and we want to be surrounded by wild things because otherwise we can't do good shamanic work. Shamanic work has to be ballasted and cushioned in order to work by nature spirits, by celestial spirits, by underground spirits, by underwater spirits. It has to be surrounded by the spiritual world. That's what we work with. At night, when I turn off the candle, when I walk out into the middle of the room after saying the prayer of dedication, I turn the candles off. What I'm doing is I'm giving a signal to the spirits to come in and help us with the healing. And then we direct them through the songs and through the, the movement of my adjustments on the body to bring the spiritual energy into the energy fields and to readjust things so that you can progress quickly and so that you can learn and so that you can heal and so that your goals can be accomplished while you're here. Now the world here as you can see we're surrounded by people who are comfortable, simple, they don't have really complicated lives, very few of them have doctorates in theology or psychology, very few of them are highly educated but they're all extremely happy they're all extremely relaxed they have good rapport with their families they have really good rapport with their children with their mistresses and with their aunts and with their maids they get along really well with each other okay they have a peaceful lifestyle something that very often we miss they don't have much conflict in their lives and they are incredibly at peace with themselves, incredibly at peace with their environment, but they live a very simple life. We, on the other hand, live a very complex one. We're surrounded by computers, by televisions, by radios, by advertising, by everything that basically comprises the modern world now. It's a completely different place than what I grew up in 40 years ago. It's a much different place. We used to have advertising, but and subliminal advertising too. Advertising that was state of the art, but not nearly to the point where it is now. So that's why I recommend to you, when you go home, try 
to maintain the integrity of your ayahuasca experience, of your ayahuasca healing and learning, by spending at least an hour and a half alone every day in a meditative place, preferably in a park or someplace where you're away from the cement, you're away from your computer, you're away from your TV, and you're away from your friends that are jabbering at you all the time. Try to peer, choose your peer group carefully. Try to choose your company carefully. If somebody doesn't resonate with you, make sure you don't waste your time with them because they're going to draw you out from your center. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish our own center of energy. We're trying to reestablish our own souls, our own energy fields. And we're trying to maintain that as our only lifeline to becoming completely realized individuals. Because there's nothing we're going to be except for ourselves. If we're going to succeed, we're going to have to be Jordy. And we're going to have to be Tim. A hundred percent. We cannot be clones of somebody else's concept of what a human being is supposed to be. Now, it's very important to realize that we are the most powerful machines ever put on the planet here. We have incredible potential instinctually, intellectually, and spiritually. And we have a lot of energy that's very useful to other entities. In other words, it's pulled out by corporations. It's pulled out by governments. It's pulled out by anything that can use spiritual potential and human potential. But where does that come from? It comes from our souls. It comes from our hearts. And it depletes our capacity to realize ourselves as individuals. Now, if we're going to realize ourselves as individuals, we have got to realize our self-worth. The problem with a lot of the advertising is that it's canted toward making you feel less than sufficient. You say, well, you're not so bad. You'd be a lot better if you had these new running shoes, and if you had this new car, and if you had this new apparatus to gauge your movements on a daily basis. You need all this stuff if you're really going to advance at a gallop. Whereas our answer is, well, I don't think so, because I've been doing great for the last 45 years, so I don't see why I need anything. I do great. I work right from here, okay? And everything I need, I just ask for it, and I get it. So why would I ever want to lay anything on top of that? It all comes from inside me. Now, the ayahuasca is put here precisely to activate that capacity inside of you. It connects directly with your DNA, directly with the control mechanism, the magic inside of your heart, inside of your immune system. It gives you an immunity so that you no longer have to run to the pharmacy every time you have a cold. Because all you have to do is sniffle for about 12 hours and your cold goes away because your immune system is strong. It takes care of it all by itself. Every time you go through a disease or you go through a mild imbalance, or a lack of equilibrium by not taking a medicine your immune system kicks in and takes care of it because that's what we have we have a computer made to do that you also have a computer to activate the evolutionary needs that we have when we have a natural disaster when we have an invasion from an, another galaxy <clears throat> when we have a war or when we have any sort of a human disaster or a divorce or a marriage. Anything that comes our way, we're capable of adapting just like that, providing we depend on ourselves and we let ourselves work. We let ourselves work as ourselves. We don't say, oh, wait, I need a counselor. Oh, I need a, an expert. I need a psychiatrist. I need this. We don't need nothing. All you gotta do is quiet down for about two hours and you figure it out and then act according to what you know is right. The ayahuasca is tailored to give you that self-confidence. If you have that self-confidence and you have that self-confidence not based on some cerebral fact, fiction, it's based on a readjustment in your nervous system, then you not only have 
the perspective, but you also have the power. And you have all of the utility, all the instruments you need to make it happen. That's the beauty about ayahuasca. It's different from most other psychotropics. I've taken most of the psychotropics, experimented with them extensively. Ayahuasca is head and shoulders above all of them as a beautiful sacred sacrament put here on the planet by our Creator precisely to put us back on track and to help us with our challenges and to help us with our desires and with our aspirations so that we can move fast in the right direction. Not just thinking about it, but thinking about it, but then having the ballast inside that gives us the power to do it. This has to work across the board because we're not going back in time. We're not going to come back. People, are, I've been living here for 17 years. I love it. I, got, I swim in the river every day. I don't swim in chlorinated pools anymore. I swim in wild water. I breathe natural air. I live a very natural lifestyle. I take ayahuasca five times a week and I heal people. And I work with herbal medicine. That's what I do for a living, and I do it all year long. But we are not going to be able to turn the world around and go back to nature. It's out of the question. We're going to have to learn how to drive rocket ships and space stations, and we're going to have to move forward. There's no way out. But the one thing we do not have to do is surrender our integrity as human beings, our magic as a human species. As a human species, we are one of a kind. As long as we realize that we are the best apparatus ever created, far beyond anything Apple computers came up with, we know that we can reboot ourselves very quickly with the sacraments put here on the planet. And the main one is ayahuasca with Chuck Kroner. That's what we're going to all be taking tonight. And we're going to be adjusting it to the level that's going to be most advantageous to each one of you so that we can get the dosage right right at the beginning because last night we re-upped for you and the rest of you well you were kind of moderate in it so we're going to go up except for if Jordy's getting, Jordy is going to take an introductory dosage because okay. his second journey is, is going to be dialed up and we don't want to traumatize him yet you know we'll traumatize him later He'll see you guys, and that'll be enough for him. <laughs> but the thing is, you have to realize that the ayahuasca not only puts you in touch with the wild world inside of you, but it puts you in touch with the wild world outside. And it resonates the microcosm with the macrocosm. So you create a connection. You're no longer isolated. You're completely connected. And that means you're connected not only with yourself, but also with your friends, because you resonate with that real, authentic part of your friends. And you realize which ones are worth bothering with, and which ones are probably better marginalized, and spend less time with them. And which activities are maybe very useful for your spiritual and psychological and physical growth, and which ones are prob probably detrimental, or at least neutral. And there's no point in wasting your time with them. So it gives you an intuition of what's appropriate, what's good for you, and what you're capable of accomplishing. And it also builds your self-confidence because it introduces you to the amplitude of your energy field, of your power, personally, psychologically, and spiritually, and genetically. Not only from the past and the present, but also into the future. What we're going to create with the next generation, what we're going to create in the next 20, 30 years is extremely important to our survival as a species. Now we're an experiment that's put here on the planet by our maker. We have to be here. We have to do the best we can under the circumstances. We were given a lot of clout because we were given the power of choice. There's no other species that has the power of choice. They work on pure instinct. They know what to kill, what to eat, when to hide, and when to run, and when to attack. We don't. We think about it first. But we have a visceral part inside of us that our ancestors depended on because they were hunters and gatherers. 
Well, we're still hunters and gatherers, but we're hunting on the internet. We're hunting technologically. We're hunting sometimes with a computer, sometimes with telepathy. But we're hunting in another realm. But we still need the same instincts. And so we have to utilize them and we have to pull from that source in order to do the best we can for ourselves and families and for a planet and for a species. We need a future because we don't want to be written off later on a thousand years from now as a failed experiment. And then God will put another species like us on the planet with a more complex DNA that's tailored to survive for a longer period of time because we didn't pull it off. But the thing is, why not do it now? Why waste your time? We're capable. Look at you guys. You're all healthy. You're all strong. You're all 100% capable of doing whatever you want to do. And the ayahuasca is going to come into you and it's going to complete the circle so that you can go forward from here and realize your aspirations and your goals and your dreams and realize when you clarify them in your mind that not only are they clear in your mind but you have the power in your stomach and your heart and your muscles and your limbs to realize them and to bring them to fruition on the planet. That's what I wish for all of you and I really congratulate you all for having the balls and the capacity to come here and try this. We're going to make it accessible, we're going to make it practical, and we're going to make it as high and as strong as possible so that you can accomplish your goals in the time you have to spend with us. We've been in this business for a long time. The people I work with are very professional and very accomplished. We know a lot about herbal medicine, a lot about shamanic medicine. And we're very much in tune with the natural world. And I applaud your audacity to come here and play with us because you're going to love it. You're going to enjoy yourselves. How do you deal with any challenges that you have? I mean, you, you deal with a challenge. Well, sometimes you deal with, with by fighting. Sometimes you deal with it by making a peace with it. Sometimes you deal with it by hiding. And sometimes you deal with it by running away. But it's better to try to deal with it by putting it into balance and using it for your best interest. That's the way you have to try to attack everything. See everything as an opportunity. Not as a curse. Not as a blessing. It's a challenge. It's an opportunity. Something comes your way. It seems like a fucking problem. It's not a problem. It's an opportunity to grow. To empower yourself. Because it's giving you an exercise and you got to work through a problem. It's probably relatively superficial. It's just that it's a little bit intimidating when it's seen from the outside. But as soon as you get inside of it, you find that it's not nearly as frightening close up as it was from a distance. And that's the case with almost everything. And so whatever comes your way, look at it as a challenge, as an opportunity. And when you do that, you'll be constantly on an adventure of growth and power. And you're going to find that the ayahuasca is going to live right inside of you. Because this plant was put here a long time ago, a long time ago. And it's going to be here for a long time in the future. But it's connected with a part of our DNA that's going to go way beyond the primitive world into the space age right into the outer, outer galaxies and it's going to be the same DNA the same power that we're playing with and that we've been playing with for centuries it's the same thing and we're the survivors we're the product of our parents we're the product of our grandparents we are the survivors and we are the hairbringers of growth and power to our species why? well because we're the ones that made it and we're the ones that have the intelligence and the capacity and the audacity and besides that we have the desire because we don't want to just slog down and flip burgers or wash cars we want to do something on the fringe so 
we take it out as far as we can. We usually get to a point in our lives where we can't bear it anymore. We can't bear the normal realm of activity because it's too bland. It's too fucking pathetic. So what do we do? We change. We readjust. Maybe we readjust 30% or 40% or 50% or maybe like I did, 150%. Boom! And then we apply all of our talents from right out of academia into the wild world of the shamans. And within three or four years, we're in a whole nother gauntlet. And we're dealing with incredible problems. We got out of the last challenge and we got into a brand new one. <laughs> but it's more exciting because it's brand new. And so, we're, you feel like an old man when you're 40 and all of a sudden, when you're 48, you feel like a young man again. Why? Well, because you're renewed. You've got a brand new activity, and you've got something that opens you up, and that gives you what you always hoped and dreamt about. And that's what every one of you is going to find while you're here. Okay? We'll do it one by one. And we'll do it gradually, because you don't want to traumatize your ass. And we take it easy, but direct. We're not going to waste any time, okay? Your main teacher is the natural world. The world you see around your house, the plants, the animals, the wind, the rain, the shamans that are singing, the things you hear, the things that you intuit, the things that the ayahuasca brings you before, during, and after the ceremony. Extremely focal pointed to your personal growth. So just remember that. It's all for you. It's not a blanded out thing. It's tailored 100. Everybody has a different experience. Everyone resonates in a different way. Every single person. Because they bring all their baggage and all their blessings and all their capacity and all their potential to the experience. And the ayahuasca picks up on that in two seconds and works on it. It's that fast. It's that quick. It is light years above anything you've ever worked with before. And so I'll introduce you to that and we'll work on it one by one as we go along. So thanks a lot. I'll let you guys go get a little rest and I'll see you tonight at 7.30. Okay? Thanks so much. Welcome. And thank you too for how are you doing? I'm good. How are you?